So uh, we met Bobby Moore originally in 1971. He did a sit-in for us back then. We collated a load of images, measurements of him at that time. Um, and then we've also added all the research and development stuff with the, the actual match, the 1966 Cup Final. So we can get a real good idea of his look, his physique, and everything about him at that period of time. Once the clay head's all finished, we'll then take the head down to moulding, where a special plaster mould is made, a piece mould we call it. It's very much like a jigsaw that can be put together afterwards, and we'll then pour the wax into that mould, and we're left with a hollow wax cast of Bobby's head. The wax head then goes to hair insertion where every hair will be painstakingly individually inserted with a fine needle, thousands upon thousands of hairs inserted until we've got the exact look and feel. It will be then taken off to colouring. The colouring process um, takes about a week where the painter will use oil-based paints to give fine washes of, of colour on the face until we build up layer by layer the perfect complexion and his look on the day of the cup final. So there you have it, the whole process from start to finish, which takes us roughly about three months to make, all done looking like he did in the World Cup final 1966.